Hi everybody, Jacob Breed here from ReviewEcon.com. Today we're talking about the 2024 Macroeconomics Exam. This is question number three from set two. In order to do well on this question, you should be through unit six. If after watching this video, you still need a little more help, head over to ReviewEcon.com and pick up the total review booklet. It has everything you need to know to ace your microeconomics or macroeconomics exam. Let's get into it. Now this question starts off with the country of Jamaica. They have a cyclical unemployment rate of 4% and they have a balanced capital and financial account. First, we're going to identify a fiscal policy action the government could take to restore full employment. Remember, there are two primary fiscal policy tools, taxes and government spending. Taxes slow down the economy and increase unemployment, while spending speeds up the economy and lowers the unemployment rate. Since we have high cyclical unemployment, that means we're trying to lower that unemployment rate. And so that leads us to our answer, decrease taxes or increase government spending. Either one of those answers will get you your first point. For part B, we are asked based solely on the change in real output that results from the fiscal policy action that we just identified in part A, what will happen to Jamaica's net exports? And we have to explain. Now remember here, we are focusing on just the change in real output. That means we're going to ignore any price level changes or real interest rate changes that result from the fiscal policy action. Remember, real output means real national income. And when a country has more national income, the citizens of that country buy more stuff more stuff domestically and imports. And higher imports mean lower net exports because net exports is exports minus imports. So that leads us to our answer here, decrease because higher real output means higher real national income and higher national income means Jamaican citizens buy more imports. And if you have an answer to something like that, you get your next point. For Part C, we are told that Jamaica and Turkey are trading partners with flexible exchange rates. Jamaica's currency is the Jamaican dollar and Turkey's currency is the lira. We're going to draw a foreign exchange market for the Jamaican dollar relative to the lira and we're going to show the effect of the change in net exports on the supply of the Jamaican dollar as well as the international value of the Jamaican dollar. Let's go ahead and draw out our graph. We have the quantity of Jamaican dollars on the x-axis. On the y-axis, we have Turkish lira per Jamaican dollar. We have a downward sloping demand curve, upward sloping supply curve, and at the intersection, we have the equilibrium quantity and the equilibrium exchange rate. Now remember, Jamaican citizens are buying more imports. And when Jamaican citizens buy imports, they supply Jamaican dollars. That means they increase the supply in the international market. Let's go ahead and shift that supply curve to the right, mark our new equilibrium quantity, but most importantly, mark our new lower exchange rate. And if you have all that, you get two points, one for the original graph and one for the shift with the lower exchange rate. For part D, we are asked how the change in net exports that we already identified will impact the capital and financial account, and we have to explain. Remember, the current account plus the capital and financial account must equal zero. And at the beginning of this question, the capital and financial account is balanced. That means it has a balance of zero. So both of these accounts, capital and financial and current, both have a zero balance. When a country imports more, that's going to decrease the current account. And when the current account decreases, the capital and financial account must increase. They always added together equals zero. So that leads us to our answer here, increase, because the decrease in the net exports causes a deficit in the current account. And since the current account plus the capital and financial account must equal zero, the capital and financial account will now have a surplus. And if you have an answer something like that, you get your last point. And there you have it. Those are the answers to the 2024 macroeconomics exam set two, question number three. If you still need more help, head over to reviewecon.com and pick up that total review booklet. That's it for now. I'll see you all next time.